Hi guys. I'm here. <laughs> um, I've lost my tripod, hence the weird camera angle. But it's just a, another quick review of something that I've got here that I've been using just to get me by at the moment. Um, had a bit of a, a mishap in the match there at weekend. Broke my trusty waggler rod, the Drennan Carp Waggler. So that's bugard now, so in the market for another waggler. I've got to figure out what to replace it with. Don't know whether to go Vertex or stick with Preston gear or maybe look at something a bit even higher up, like a map or something, maybe a Shimano, I don't know. But yeah, I think it, it broke myself in transit and broke the tip off, having it in my bag the wrong with the tip sticking out of me carry all which is a hard case carry all but I still have the tip sticking out being an idiot and it's got a crack further down at the base here as well so that's that never mind anyway what I've got today is a matrix three rod holder that attaches to a seat box now just for demonstration purposes I've put a little arm on here for it to sit on to this is a, a very small arm this is I think is a 20 and um, what I normally have is um, this arm on the back of my side tray and I have my rod um, thing on the side of the side tray there and normally what I tend to use it for rather than a rod when I'm pole fishing is just putting three top kits in it the three that I'm going to use most readily so I'll have like a, a mugging or shallow um, top kit in there my margin top kit and then my main one and then any of the others that I need I'll just move them around if I have to because I've been trying to get one of the roosts one of the Preston roosts that fit onto this and they're sold out everywhere all the time so I've got this for the time being and what I'll do I'll just show you how it fits together what it is you get your main base unit which has got your hole and a locking nut with three if I can put it against the light three ribs on it if you will and all you do slot that on there and do it a little bit this is oh 25 mil it is 25 mil leg because that's what the insert is i've got in there it says it tighten it up like that and then each one of the rod holders is the same solid and adjustable and you just put them on again got to loosen them up a bit because i've had them tightened up one they're all the same and it doesn't matter which way around they go you just tighten them up like that and that's it you've got a three rod holder there for putting your rods in now yeah if I was fishing with the waggler and the method feeder all day I'd use my rods in there rather than pull top kits at the, which it does hold quite well you know I'm not gonna lie it holds on to them well they don't move around or anything like that this arms just a little bit movie around you in the wind on this that's why I put it on the side of the box but to give you an idea if I just grab the waggler set that in there there you go that's how it holds it so it's easy for you to just lean off your box take it out use it well within reach and you can have that anywhere at all that you just put a little 25 mil arm on now like i say i've just put this one on for demo but if it was me i'd probably have it behind me somewhere out of the way so it's not going to get caught up in say a landing net pole or anything like that um what i'll do i'll take it off and i'll just give you a gander at it closer up like I say, forgive the camera angle, but I cannot find my tripod anywhere for my camera. So, take it off. The unit itself, when you buy it, looks like this. Right, so there's your three rod. It's quite robust and heavy. So I will say that it is a, a heavy unit, this. It's not going to break easy, I'll tell you that much. And if I take off these, I've not undone them really, that's my own stupidity. I should say as well, before I take the last one off, is you can change the angle so you can have them sitting at any angle you want just by this adjuster here so you can put them out straight at any thing there's obviously little notches as it goes around for it to lock onto just tighten it up and it'll stay at that angle so if i just take that one off that's your base unit there now you can't adjust the angle of the base unit but like i say i've got me insert in there for the arm that's your tighten up and that's three now this is metal and this is plastic but it's it's well secured on there i have to say that for, for a you know matrix 
it is a quality product. And then these, like I say, that's your rod holder. That's the adjuster for the angle. So I loosen that off, and like I say, you can play around with the angle, have it wherever you want, tighten it up. And then that, of course, is your tightener for going on the bar. You just loosen that off, grab your bar, put it on, tighten it up. And like I say, you can have them any angle you bloomin' want when you put it on your box. So you can have them pointing out, pointing up, pointing around the side, pointing towards you, if you're an idiot, or anything really. So, yeah, a really nice little handy little bit of kit that I thought I'd give you a quick show and review of. I've used it quite a few times, no issues with it, apart from the first time I put it on, I had it a bit loose um, on a bar at the back of the box. And it was a bit of a windy day and they were blowing around back and forth, if you will, with the wind catching them and getting in my way a bit. So I learnt my lesson on where to put it. And yeah, like I say, if you want a quick session where you're only going to be using two or three top kits, that'll handle it as well. Just put your top kits in there, keep it to the side. So you're not having to faff about putting out a big massive roost of 10 or 12 top kits when you're only going to be using three. Especially if you're on a little pleasure, pleasure session or... Just having a laugh down at a local club lake or something so yeah there you go quick review of the matrix three rod holder that attaches to pretty much any seat box because as you can see mine's a preston i've got all my gear out here because i'm going to wash it off after the match on sunday which like i say was a bit of a disaster broke a rod only caught 38 pound of fish when you consider the winner had 208 i think um and I would say I drew a fairly poor peg. I had no feature to fish to at all, apart from a, a bar that was probably about 40, 40 yards out that I had to put the feeder on top of. I was going to pellet wag to the bar because every time you threw any um, or catapulted any pellet out there, they were off. They were near the surface. They'd have fed, you know. But that was my original intention until I took the rod out and realised that I had a two-piece rod in three pieces and a crack. So that was the end of that idea. So persevered with the feeder, caught a few on the feeder, went onto the uh, pole for the last hour and took a few on the pace down the margin. But it wasn't good enough, and you knew it wasn't good enough by looking at everyone around you, catching here, there and everywhere. So, yeah, back to the drawing board on that one. But I've been doing okay in the other matches, so that's good. Um, yeah, other than that, have to wait and watch this space for when I do buy a new rod and replace it. And I shall give you a hint and review on that one as well. Got a few other little bits and bobs to um, demonstrate. I will, if you just hold on two seconds, one other thing. I'll just go over here and get it. Uh, for those that haven't seen them, Guru do pellet strainer um, inserts for two point boxes and a one point box with a pellet strainer in it as well. I say a pellet strainer, it's for draining your water off your pellets. Works brilliantly. Um, and this one here, see the insert is there, that's your strainer, like that. My clothes won't fall through there. One mil, I don't know, I've not tried it with one mil, but two mils are fine, four mils fine. And what I actually did the other day was I put about, I'm gonna say half a cup full of expanders um, into here with some bait booster flavor oil and let them sit for I don't know a few days soak up all that oil and then put them into um, into this tray filled it with water and let them sit in there overnight next day perfect they were just absolutely perfect they sat on the hook lovely they were working well for the fish you know it was it was fantastic so these little pellet strainer boxes if you don't have a pellet wetter bag or anything like that these are great for especially doing either on the bank or little prepping overnight so you can seal them up nothing gonna spill anywhere and uh, cause a lot of mess in the kitchen like if you get say accidentally knocked like I've done once or twice I think you're learning them a bit clumsy and the big one goes in a two pint box or a three pint box I should say um, and yeah same concept again sits in there fill your thing with water fill that with your pellets sit it in it Give it a quick shake around and what have you, so all your pellets get wet. Leave it to sit for two minutes or so, three minutes, and then pull out all your pellets, let them drain off. I then use that water, in fairness, to mix up the ground bit a bit because it's got all the flavours and that from the pellets. 
and then tip them back into the box. Voila, worked perfect. So there you go, a couple of quick reviews on the Matrix three rod holder for a side of a box and a Guru pellet strainer. See you on the bank, lads. There you go.